So you're thinking about buying a house? Do you know what supply and demand is? Let's get into the video. Supply and demand, it's a theory that we have used here in the United States of America and probably around the world, supply and demand for every and any commodity um, that is being purchased, traded. So specifically, we're talking real estate today and we're gonna talk about supply and demand. It's a very easy concept, guys. Supply, when supply is very high and demand is very low, the cost of product comes down. Would you agree? If you don't agree, put it in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. The, 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 the second part to that is, demand is really high and supply is very low. What happens to the value? You got it. Went up, right? So the current real estate market here in Indiana, Northwest Indiana, Lafayette, West Lafayette, and surrounding areas, supply is low and demand is extremely high still, okay? So the home values are high, and that's the bottom line, the home values are high. Um, you could use the comps all you want, right? The house across the street two years ago sold for 250, therefore this house should sell for around 250, wrong. Supply and demand are taking, are taking place. The, the, the house that's for sale now probably be worth closer to 300 because there's a, a demand for that home. And the market is always going to dictate the home values. So whether you think the home is overpriced, and most likely it is, but the market is telling you different. People are still buying them. If they're still buying them, then are they really too high? So, you know, you really have to take all these things into consideration when putting your offer in. You know, in many cases, um, I think the last stat that I saw was homes are selling for 98.5% of the asking price. So you go ahead and do the math on that. So house comes out to market today, they're selling it for 200. Yes, it needs a little work, this, that, the other. And you know, the comps say that, you know, the houses around the area in the last year or two were like 10, $15,000 less. So yes, they're asking for max dollars for the home. And, and these homes are selling in a couple of days and they're selling for asking price or above. So, you know, you, you really need to consider um, when you do your pre-approval and you, and you cross your T's and dot your I's with your numbers that you know and understand what your numbers are and more importantly, know and understand what the market is doing, what the market is calling for in real estate. You know, I have a handful of clients that are slowly coming around the learning curve of what that market is. Uh, and they've missed out on a handful of homes already because mentally they're just a little stuck on what the market is and they have to go through the educational phase of that on their own. So, um, but for those that take the advice of the professional, for those that take the advice of what the market is actually doing and telling them at that current point in time, they're not missing out on the home. They're buying the home and they're enjoying their new home. It, it, it's everyone else that's still over here that can't, can't wrap their mind around why the market is the way it is. And again, it's simple, supply and demand. So, so I mean, if I could, I'm gonna put a definition up here of supply and demand and what that is. Supply and demand, it's a real thing, guys. It's a real thing. It's not going away. I mean, if you feel that the real estate market is not in your favor, I understand. Please don't be out there looking for homes and please don't be out there trying to put any lowball offers. You're just wasting paper and pen. And um, surprise, surprise, hopefully in the next year or so, you will be paying for those offers to put out. So, you know, you're going to be even more careful on putting out putting out an offer, you know, you know, for someone to just say, oh, let's just put an offer in, you know, let's just see what they say. If it doesn't happen, doesn't happen. Yeah, well, that's gonna cost you $250 to see if it happens or doesn't happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, that it's happened so much in the state of Indiana that um, as an association, uh, Realtor of Indiana, it's probably gonna change. Um, you're, you're gonna see that in what you call the document that's called um, buyer agent agreement. And you will see that in there that, you know, you're going to pay 
to 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 view homes and you're going to pay to put it put in offers that are not redeemed acceptable during current market conditions so why is that happening um i'll make a whole completely different video on that as a whole separate issue uh but but very quickly it's happening because supply and demand is happening and the, for the for for the, for the client that's not grasping that and is 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 really literally just wasting time because there's a legal process that needs to happen with this paperwork. There's a legal process that needs to happen on the seller side on the buyer side when someone decides to just put an offer just to put an offer in, and that's wasting people's time, energy, and it's not fair to the home seller and it's not it's not fair to the rest of the buyers uh, that you're prolonging you know, this process, this legal process, just because you wanted to put in a super low offer. It granted a lot of people just ignore that offer and they just move on, but legally they should go through the process of rejecting your offer and that's more paperwork and then the seller's got to sign and then you got to sign and they go back to your realtor. It's just too much of a, you know, a, a, too much of a, a runaround to do so. But again, I hope to do another video on that. Today's video, again, supply and demand, guys. That's what the market is. I don't like it. You may not like it. The homes are still selling in a couple of days. They're still asking. They're still selling for max dollars, uh, regardless if they need work or they don't need work. It's just what it is. But I'll ask you this question. What do you think they're going to be worth next year or the year after that? Do you think the home values are gonna come down? Probably very unlikely. It is more likely that that same $200,000 house will just be worth 225 a year from now, two years from now, because again, supply and demand is extremely, supply is extremely low and demand is extremely high. And you know, the, even with interest rates going up to six, six and a half percent, the market is not, correcting and is not correcting because there's still an issue of supply for more information more questions please reach out shoot me a text shoot me an email i'll be more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability to help you through your buying process please like and subscribe somewhere here on the screen and follow me for more videos